Okay, are we live? <laughs> it keeps going in and out. I think I'm gonna say hello and welcome. Crazy morning, oh my gosh. Okay, so welcome Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday, yay! It's another fabulous, right? Fabulous Friday. How is everybody doing? Hopefully you guys are all ready uh, for the end of the week. Hi, Philomena, how are you doing? Sorry, I know I um, was a little delayed getting on here, so we'll watch and say, hey, Nikki, see everybody popping on. Hey, Sandra, oh my gosh, yay, thank you guys. I love for you to join me each Friday, so thank you. And thank you for your patience, too. I was having technical difficulties. I kept trying to hit the live button, and then um, it was like saying we had a bad connection or something, so it was kind of coming and going. So I think we are good to go now, hopefully. Hopefully, hi, Susie, how are you doing? Oh my gosh, so you guys, there's so much stuff going on. I tell you, it's good, but Stampin' Up! does this to us every year. Um, sorry, there was like a bird that just flew <laughs> by the window, it caught my eye. Um, every year, right before the incentive trip, they announce all these awesome like things that are gonna be happening in July. And I think maybe to help our businesses kind of keep going for those of us that are fortunate enough to be able to go on the incentive trip. Hey, Denise. Hey, Tammy. Yay, you guys are all here. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you for the share, too, um, Philomena. Hello, hello, everybody. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to just dive right in. My mind is already running a million miles a minute as, like... Is that, I don't know, maybe that's just the story of my life, right? <laughs> oh, Mia, hi Mia, how are you with Miss Denise? Oh yeah, give her another squeeze for me. She's such a little cutie. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, what do we have going on? Well, the buy one, get one free sale, that's kind of on my mind. I've got that down at the stamp studio later on today after I finish up the live and get all my postings and everything done. Hey Sharon, how are you? So, um, hey Tammy, oh my gosh, this is awesome guys thank you so much for joining this morning um yeah so i'm like already kind of trying to make sure i've marketed for that let everybody know there's tons okay so i know i posted pictures on our facebook group of everything that i had available uh at the buy one get one free sale and i sold a bunch but there's still so much left like you look at it and you're like you can't even believe like that you sold that i sold anything so if you weren't sure if there's anything left yes there is like a ton of stuff left so come see me come hang out with me three to six today at the stamp studio 209 east superior street in alma and i'll see you later today to uh to denise um so yeah, back to all this awesome stuff that Stampin' Up! They just announced this week, um, told us as demonstrators all these things that are coming. So the first big thing, I want to make sure, yep, bonus days. And they've done this, maybe this is the third or fourth year, I can't remember for sure. Um, but bonus days start on July 1st. And what that is, is basically a promotion for every $50 you spend in July you get a $5 uh, coupon emailed to you. So make sure when you order online, whatever email address you have set up as your login, that's where they're gonna send you that $5 off coupon. Um, so make sure that's a good one, right? That you actually use it and check it and can get to your coupons because that's the only way you can get them is through that email, okay? So that being said, shop online in July. Well, actually not even just online, any order of $50. So if you give me an order of $50, um, they'll email you the coupon code also again to the email address that i have on file for you as my customer okay so that's just so important because people were kind of lose you know over the years um, i think we've gotten a better handle of it but um you have to have a good email address okay so again if you spend fifty dollars in july they're going to email you as soon as we put the order in they're going to email you um the coupon in July and then starting August 1st you can use that five dollar off coupon and you can get so say if you put a hundred dollar order in they're gonna email you it's one email but it's gonna have two coupon codes if you put a hundred and fifty dollar order in you're gonna get three coupon codes in one email if you put one order in on July 1st and another one on July 15th you're gonna get two different emails with two different coupon codes okay so every time you order if you get to at least fifty dollars or increments of fifty you're gonna get coupon codes depending on that ordering level okay and then like I said August 1st is when you can start using those coupon codes and I gotta say hi Rosemary is here and oh Sheila is watching hey Sheila how are you doing I'm glad you can uh, watch with Susie today um, 
Okay, so that's one thing. So July 1st, which I think is Monday, right? So uh, keep that in mind. Um, the other thing they did was they updated our clearance rack. And this is the first time that they've ever put stamp sets on the clearance rack. I did a quick peek. Um, I think a, a lot of them are from like holiday catalog time. Um, I can't even say I was like a super quick peek as I looked through but take a look stamp sets are on and discounted like heavily discounted on the clearance rack that is one thing though that I would maybe not wait for um, if there's something on the clearance rack I would order that and you know as soon as you get on as soon as you can because that's the kind of thing that like you can blink and miss it so I know you might want to wait for July 1st for those coupon codes but you might not want to for that you know, put some kind of an order in from the clearance rack in June and then put the rest of your order in on July 1st when you can get those uh, bonus day $5 off coupons off your orders, okay? Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, so the other awesome, awesome thing, if you guys have been thinking about uh, getting the starter kit, basically getting that awesome deal, right? Um, and becoming an Inkspired Stamper, joining our group, joining our team. We, and, and I always wanna make sure people understand, there's never any pressure to run classes, to hold events, to do any of that stuff. And even truly like the top demonstrators that you probably all know online, they just bought the starter kit to get the deal in the first place. There's, there's probably like a handful of um, demonstrators that really bought the starter kit to start a business. Most people just start out because they love the product, they wanna get a bunch of the product and why not get it at a discount, right? And then, oh well, let's see your friends start saying, hey, let's get together and make cards and then maybe a class suddenly kind of happens without you even realizing that it has happened orders start coming in and then somehow you've got like this little business that helps you pay right your your commission on those orders can help you pay for your hobby and your purchases so anyway that is kind of a natural flow potentially or maybe not maybe you just um buy the starter kit and then use that discount to get um you know your own product so basically get your stuff at a deal so this is the deal and they're actually this is a long promotion usually i think it's just the month of july but they're going to do it all of july and all of august so july 1 through august 31 this is the recruiting and recruiting that's such an icky word i don't know people don't want to be called a recruit i don't think anyway basically the starter kit deal your awesome deal you get to pick 155 dollars in product anything that you want and you're only going to pay $99 plus sales tax the shipping fee normally that's 10% of your order at least or $6.95 that fee is waived so right there if you were to put a $155 order in you would normally pay $15.50 in shipping right there right and then whatever your sales tax is but you're only going to pay $99 plus sales tax for $155 in product and then as soon as you put your starter kit order in and they verify everything and they send you your demo ID and password, you can like literally hop on the same day that you get the starter kit and put your first order in and get your 20% discount on other stuff. So if you've seen the annual catalog, which I know you guys all have, right? And there's a ton of product that you want if you've been thinking about it, this is an awesome time to get that starter kit deal, get a bunch of product. The one thing I will tell you guys is you cannot go over $155. They don't let you pay the difference. So you wanna to get to as close to $155 as you can without going like one penny over. So figure your, you know, get your wish list, figure out everything, get to as close to $155 as you can. Put that in as your um, starter kit order. And then, like I said, then you can go crazy. And, and know this also, Demonstrators get the same benefits as customers and workshop orders and everything else. So when you put your first demonstrator order in, if you get to $150 in product on your order, you're gonna get the host reward. So you're your host for your own party, essentially, even as a demonstrator. So you're gonna get that 10% host rewards. That's the like starting point. $150 gets you 10% in host rewards. So you're gonna get $15 in free stuff. And then it kind of increases I think it goes up to like 16% plus you can get a half off item if you put the Mac Daddy order in like a $450 order you can get a, um, a half off item too which is really really cool then you can get some like huge you know expensive thing and only pay half price so that's cool too right so if you have any interest uh, the link 
is on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, GatheringInkspiration.com. You click on, I think it says, become an inspired stamper or join my team. I can't remember what the wording is, but right across the top, you'll see it. Just click on that and the link is right there. It shows you all the benefits of becoming an Inkspired Stamper, tons of awesome reasons why you wanna join our group because we have an awesome group of ladies that are a part of our Inkspired Stampers and then all the other benefits that you get from Stampin' Up! too. So check all those benefits out and then the link is right there to um, buy the starter kit too whenever you would like. But don't do it until that, don't do that until July 1st because you can't get the deal until July 1st. So you got just a couple days, get your wish list together and then on Monday, July 1st, you can get the starter kit. So, and let me know if you guys have any questions. I love to have new members of our group, new members of our team, and I will tell you, I'm jumping ahead because I've got my notes here, but I'm gonna do this because we had a brand new Inkspired stamper. Her name is Kathy Miles. So she um, has been having a lot of fun using her discount, I think. So just very recently, she got the starter kit and she has already gotten to what's called Qualified Recruit, which is $900 in sales. If you do that in your first full three months of getting the starter kit, you qualify for something that Stampin' Up! calls the Quick Start Program and they give you like 5,000 flex points. And then most people love to use flex points because then you can get free product. You can cash in your flex points for free product. So Kathy has already done that. She just got the starter kit. She's already gotten to qualified recruit. So she's gonna get those 5,000 flex points from Stampin' Up! And for being an inspired stamper, I give her a $25 shopping spree too. So anyway, Kathy, if you're watching, um, yeah, make sure you do your shopping spree. Let me know what you'd like and I'll get that sent out to you. So that is awesome. Congratulations, you are like a rock star. <laughs> so isn't it's very, it's just, it's so fun. And then like I said, plus, Oh, the other thing too, um, always know that, that to get the host rewards, to get to the qualified recruit status in terms of sales, the sales is like the, the full catalog price or value. Then you get your discount, but they don't figure any of those numbers. Um, like for host rewards, when you put a $150 order in, it's not after your discount, it's before your discount. So put your product in, get to $150, get your $15 in free host rewards, and then they take the 20% discount. So same thing in terms of sales too. It's all like the full 100% full catalog price. Hey Darlene, how are you doing? Oh my gosh, I haven't seen you for a while. Hopefully everything is good with you. Um, so let me think if there's anything else. I think that's about it as far as the starter kit is concerned. But if you guys have any questions on that, please let me know because it's, it's always an awesome deal, seriously, but they're just, oh, that was the other thing too. So they're throwing in, so normally you pick $125. In July 1st, you get to pick $155. So you're gonna get $30 more for free. Plus, I almost forgot to mention this. Then, so say if you bought the starter kit in July, then in August, they're gonna send you a $10 coupon off your first order or you know an order in August. So if you buy the starter kit in August, they're gonna send you that $10 off coupon in September. So you're really getting $165 in product for only $99 plus sales tax. So that is very, very cool. Yes, you've been very busy, I know. Summer is always crazy. I was talking with this friend of mine um, and we're not gonna be able to see each other for like three weeks and we were laughing that like, by the time we see each other, we're gonna be like, oh my gosh, July is almost over. And then like, then summer's almost gonna be over and I don't even wanna be thinking about that. So I love summer. I don't, I don't want it to go too quickly. So <laughs> I don't know, maybe you guys may be the same way. Some people don't like it so hot. I don't mind it. Uh, yeah, I just, I love, um, you know, the carefree. I love flip-flops probably more than anything. I love my flip-flops. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, the other thing I want to make sure to mention, the designer series paper shares, the RSVPs for those are due tomorrow. So if you're interested in getting that quarter of a pack of all of the designer series paper in the catalog, it's $50. You can comment right on here. I can send you the PayPal link. I've been emailing about it. So just keep an eye out for that. It's on my blog too. There's a link on there also. Uh, one of the posts that I did is about the designer series paper share earlier this month. So lots of different ways, but it's easiest 
just if you just let me know if you want to do it I can send you the link we'll get you all set I'll get that ordered and we'll get it sent out to you as soon as I get back from the incentive trip at this point I had some people that participated in it earlier and that paper is going to be here it's funny I don't think I've heard UPS I think it's coming today actually so it'll probably happen while we're on the live <laughs> so anyway yeah so I'll get the first round of orders out this weekend and then the next round will have to be when I get back from the trip um, <clears throat> all right I think we are ready to do our first drawing so this was love this ribbon right where's the Where's the place? There, there's the place where you guys can see it better. Okay, so that's the Rococo Rose. You can even see the little scallop edged in there really well, I think. The linen, hey Denise, how are you doing? You just missed me talking about the starter kit deal. Uh, so rewind and listen to that. But basically, because um, I know that you had been interested in that, July 1st, you can pick $155 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. Plus you get a $10 coupon off an order um, the next month after you get the starter kit. So let me know if you have any questions on that But like I said, you can rewind and get some more details, but I'd love to have you do that because I know you were interested in that so um, Okay Or now I'm like wait a minute Denise am I getting you mixed up with another Gal now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe well, okay. Maybe, maybe you're not interested in the starter kit deal <laughs> My brain yikes well, good morning anyway, and maybe you are, so let me know. Okay, um, all right, so we're doing the drawing for the Rococo Rose Ribbon. So I've been shaking these around as I've been talking. You get one entry for commenting anytime between now and we'll talk about that, but the next Facebook Live. Um, you get three entries if you tag a friend. So like say, hey, blah, 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 check out the Facebook Live. Amy's always got lots of fun stuff to share with you. If you tag a friend, you get three entries into the drawing. And then you also get three entries if you share the Facebook Live video. You just have to make sure to put a little comment with your share, okay? Um, you can do that on the Facebook group or on the Facebook business page. And then the random day that I picked was Friday. So last Friday, any post that I made that you commented on, or if you made your own post last Friday, you got three more entries. Um, what's the last way? If you're new to me and you've just signed up for my email list, you get three entries in here. So, lots and lots and lots of ways to get entries in here. Okay, all right, here we go. I have a bunch in my hand, I gotta whittle it down to one. Okay, here we go, and we have, oh, this Philomena! <laughs> Okay, can you, there we go. I think I can see that right there. So congratulations, Miss Philomena. You are the winner of that. Over there was better, wasn't it? I don't know, somewhere. Anyway, this Rococo Rose Ribbon. So this is gonna go out with your first In Color Club order. That That is gonna be packed full of good stuff in there, let me tell you. Okay, so we are gonna dump those out. Let's set that aside. Okay, so um, I still have a few more in color ribbons to give away and I am just this I've had so much fun playing with this ribbon. So the next Facebook live I will mention that now and I'm going to kind of keep repeating it. Um, so I want to say first of all, you're welcome. <laughs> I know I love that ribbon too, Philomena. Um, so I'm going on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. We leave next Tuesday. So there's no Facebook Live um, for the first two Fridays in July. I feel, I don't think I've ever missed two in a row, so I'm kind of sad. I'm like, oh my goodness. So our next Facebook Live is gonna be on Friday, July 19th. That's when I mentioned that I was talking about my friend that we're not gonna see each other until then. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, July is gonna be like almost over by then. So. Anyway, it makes me super sad. I will tell you, I am gonna do my very, very best uh, to post as much as I can about the trip on our Facebook group, on the business page. Um, my only kind of caveat to that is um, service. Like I just, I don't really know. We're gonna be in Rome, we're gonna go to Venice for a day, and then we're on a cruise. And I know the cruise time is always really sketchy as far as um, service and I'm not getting the extra package or whatever. I think it's kind of like ridiculously expensive So when we get to ports usually I can do some more posting I can find internet um, Once the ship, you know gets to we're going to four different Greek islands, too So this is like mind-boggling to me right now. I you know can kind of picture it because I we've been watching lots of YouTube videos, but 
I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I'm nervous too, but I'm so excited. I cannot wait for this trip. And I want to say thank you to every single one of you that watches the live videos, that puts your orders in, that comes to classes, that participate on our Facebook group, all of it. Every single one of you is a huge part of me being able to go on this trip with my kids. And so I thank you all so very, very much for all of your support, all of your participation. I, I just I couldn't do it with every single without every single one of you. So thank you. Thank you guys so very much for allowing me to be able to go on this trip. And like I said, I'm gonna share as much as I can on the Facebook group and the business page. The one thing I do know is I am not gonna have time to schedule lots of blog posts. So the gatheringinspiration.com, that's gonna be pretty quiet, I think, for the next couple of weeks. Um, I've just kind of run out of time to be able to get everything um, <laughs> prepped essentially before we go. So that's the one, I, you know, spotty here and there might be a blog post, but um, check, keep up on the Facebook group because that's where I'll be doing most of my posting. So I just want to make sure you guys know that too. So with all that being said, we are going to give this ribbon away, the Seaside Spray. Where was that? There. There's the point where you guys can see what we're doing, right? So this Seaside Spray Scallop Linen Ribbon, this is what I'm going to give away on the next Facebook Live. Thank you very much, Philomena. I appreciate that. Um, on the next Facebook Live on Friday, July 19th, okay? So again, one entry for commenting, and you can comment today, you can comment anytime up until Thursday, July 18th when I review everything, right? If you share the video anytime between now and July 18th, just make sure you comment. Uh, tag a friend anytime between now and July 18th on the Facebook group um, or on, on the um, Facebook Live. Um, sign up for my email list if you haven't done that already and this applies to both the group and the business page right and then be sharing while I'm gone I love for you guys to you know whatever you're making share it with everybody I, I know I said it last week but people love to see what each other are up to and, and it's so fun to kind of get the reactions and comments and the compliments too right on um, a job well done so post your projects and then I'll pick that random day and there'll be a couple so like if I pick Thursday however many Thursdays Thursdays there are before July 19th anytime you post or comment if I post anything then your name's gonna go in the drawing to win this uh, seaside spray uh, scalloped linen ribbon okay all right let me check my notes I need to get a quick sip of water I'm already talking <laughs> Sharon all your hard work has paid off thank you <laughs> thank you I appreciate that all right I'm stepping over here to get my quick sip of water <laughs> okay <clears throat> Alrighty, so I think we are ready. Did I put it in here? Okay, yep. So I had a couple of online orders last week and we're gonna do the drawing. This is the Come Sail Away Memories and More card pack and you can't really even see the name of it very well. I didn't wanna open it. I, I showed you last week. Gosh, I wonder if I can find that easily enough. But those Memories and More kits are so nice for scrapbooking for what we call memory keeping um, putting those um, cards in the photo pocket pages I'm just trying to see I think I can get to it yep and for making cards that's probably my favorite thing to do with them because it's kind of like little pieces of designer series paper already all cut and ready to go for you so I know I showed you guys this last week but I just think it's so awesome so here's some memory keeping with the photo pocket pages there are pictures and then some of the cards are inserted too and then this is where they're actually making cards with the cards in the card kit so it's just an awesome package and we've got the come sail away there's the magnolia lane memories and more card pack which those are all gorgeous right have you guys been enjoying that product of the week this week that magnolia lane is just beautiful and of course that was one of the things we could pre-order as demonstrators so there are like a million ideas out there with that stamp set and the designer series paper and all the other product in that suite uh, but they did a really fun thing where the Memories and More card pack, and then there are some, they, they're calling them the Magnolia Lane Large Specialty Memories and More Cards and Envelopes. And they are really, I just have to show you guys. I'm just showing you because I want you to know all these fun packages. So these are the cards and then um, the card kit. And then these are some cards that they've made with these, um, the big cards and envelopes, the Memories and More. So. It's not just memory keeping. That's what I want to make sure everybody kind of understands. So, all right, 
I think that's it. We just have those couple this time. So they pared things down a little bit on that, but they're still fabulous. So that's what we're going to draw for right now is the Come Sail Away Memories and More card pack. So like I said, I had a couple of online orders, so I've got a few names in here this week. And thank you guys, every single one of you that put an online order in. I appreciate that so, so much. Um, it kind of helps me be able to keep doing the Facebook Lives, honestly. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for those orders. Um, okay, so a couple names in here. And let's see. We have, oh, Miss Maureen Wilcox. Maureen is new to me, too. And is that even going to be able to? There we go. Maureen. So I, yes, I have your, your um, mailing address. At first I was thinking I didn't. But so Maureen, I will be sending out this Calm Sail Away Memories and More card pack. Hi Marge, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Okay, so, all right, so now I want to tell you guys about what we're going to give away. So I, I did this like a, uh, well, a few months ago for the spring break special. So I'm doing something called the cruising special this time. So this is the deal. And I got to check my notes because I got to make sure that I tell you everything that's going on here. Okay, so this is the idea behind the cruising special. If you put an online order in and I have a new host code because normally I wouldn't give it to you until next Friday, but we're not going to be here. So I'm going to start my July host code like right now. If you use the old host code, it's fine. That's the one that's still on my blog. So it might be a little confusing, um, but hopefully not because um, I'm gonna I'll go in and switch the host code on my blog after we do the Facebook live here too so I'll give you the host code that's the first step go to stampinup.com put your order in use the host code I'm going to give you or the one that's on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com okay for every online order of at least fifty dollars between now and July 17th so it's a Wednesday because I normally cut those off on Wednesdays right um, put that online order in between now and July 17th you are gonna get, this is awesome, okay you guys, 10 free handmade cards from me. You're gonna get a free embellishment from me and your name is entered into the drawing to win. And I have to show you, I was really hoping so that order um, with these prizes is gonna be here, um, you know, like I said, any minute now. It's not here quite yet though. So, okay, these are, I've got awesome, awesome prizes. Okay, so one of them is, I'm gonna show you, I know it's backwards, but it's the Over the Mew, Moon, Moon, Over the Moon stamp set, and then you're gonna get the Crumb Cake Blends markers. Can you see Stampin' Up! did a fun job of kind of showing you some cute ideas with that Over the Moon stamp set? So you can color in your little, your brown cows with your Crumb Cake markers, right? Okay, so that's one of the prizes I'm gonna give away, the Over the Moon stamp set and then the Crumb Cake uh, Light and Dark, the combo, blends markers, okay? Then another one I'm gonna give away is this is the sweetly swirled stamp set i'm going to show you this one so again in the catalog i love this is this is one that totally caught my eye that i don't know something about the swirls i think plus they've got great sentiments i'm gonna have to read you those so we've got um this one says you're really missed oh hey love you thank you and Huh, that's a cute one. You've really outdone yourself. And then these can be kind of layered inside the circles and they've got some fun other flowers and leaves and things. And they do coordinate with, it says, with the layering circles and the layering ovals dies. So a couple of those, you guys know that too, when they're kind of bluey grayed out there, it means there's something that will die cut or punch those. And then in very, very tiny, tiny print, it tells you what those things are that will die cut those out. Okay, so that's the second prize, the Sweetly Swirled Stamp Set, and then these are the, the Peacock, right? The Noble Peacock Rhinestones. So that's a little combo, another one. So Stamp Set and Rhinestones is gonna be another prize. And then one more prize is going to be the Beautiful Friendship Stamp Set. And this is another one that I love. A friend of mine, Maddie, was talking about how that looks like a hydrangea, and I hadn't really thought about it until she said that, but it is beautiful. So beautiful floral images. The sentiments say, a very big congratulations and wishes, and best wishes to you. Um, I love our beautiful friendship. This one is, oh, that's cute. Birthdays are the best days. 
and so very happy to know you. So awesome sentiments. So this stamp set then combined with, oh, right, I have to open this. This is the, where are my scissors? They're right here. I'm gonna open this so you guys can see. This is the crushed curry. I love the seam binding ribbon. So we had this uh, for a number of years. So it's kind of crinkly, like it's supposed to be, you know, kind of like you did this to it. And then, so it's supposed to look kind of, I don't know, vintage, I think, but a fun, bright yellow. So that's the other little combo is that, what's it? Okay. All right. Are we back? <laughs> so that's the third prize, the beautiful friendship stamp set, and then the crushed curry crinkly seam binding ribbon. Okay. So the idea is, sorry, I know that that, so now I want to wait a sec for people to kind of pop back in. That's so annoying how that happens. Um, I don't know. I don't know why it's happening. Um, Okay, well, I'll continue on because I see that people, hey, <laughs> Jamie, I didn't even know you were on here. Thank you, I'm glad you like those prizes. So this is the idea, those three prizes, it's stamp set and then something else. So each of those three prizes, <sighs> thank you guys for coming back. I'm so sorry about that. I don't know what the problem is. Um, okay, so for every $50 online order, you're definitely gonna get the 10 free cards, you're definitely gonna get the free embellishment, and then your name is gonna go in the drawing to get one of those three prizes. And this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna put the, all the names of online orders in my bag like I always do. The first name I'm gonna draw out and you get to pick of those three prizes, which one do you want, okay? Then I'll draw another name and you'll pick from the two prizes that are left, and then I'll draw one last name and then that person will get the last prize that is left. So hopefully everybody gets what they want too. I was trying to figure out how to, you know, make that kind of happen for you also. So, all right, I think that's it. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm going to give you that host code, um, like I said, in just a little bit when we do our demonstrations. And yeah, so, um, and I have to tell you guys too, I just so appreciate, I know I said this already, but I really, I, I want to do more and more online and I'm kind of in this funny transition time where maybe my local classes are not quite as full as they used to be and I'm really trying to do more work online. So that, I guess I'm just saying I really, really appreciate your online orders too because it's kind of helping me make more of that transition to do more online. Um, it kind of helps validate like, you know, doing the Facebook Lives and everything else on the Facebook group. Um, so that, and it allows me to keep going with those um, orders basically. So thank you guys, thank you so much. So, and Amy Jo, hello, welcome, welcome. All right, um, okay, I think we are set. All right, let me just check, but I think we're ready to move the camera. Yeah, okay, so let's do that. Okay, turn your heads. <laughs> Philomena, you're so cute. You're the best too, you know that? You, got, I have so many awesome people that are a part of what we're doing here, so thank you. I, I love every single one of you guys as well, so thank you. <laughs> you're so sweet, Philomena. So, okay, turn your heads away for a sec. We're gonna fly through the air and flip the camera down. Okay, let's see. Make sure we're good here. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so I don't know if you guys saw, but I just posted earlier this week. This is my Dino Roar class to go. So I just have to show you guys this real quick. Um, and you guys know this, every single month I'm offering a class to go where you make four projects and you get to make two of each of them, okay? So this one happens to feature, this is the cute, the dino days, so, so cute. They're like happy little dinosaurs, right? Cute sentiments too, I love you this much, it's more than it looks. I picture that little guy going, eh, I love you this much, right? Look who's hatched, that one's kind of fun, huh, like for a baby. Um, welcome baby card. Thanks for being a friend of Saurus. Super cute. And then you're rawr some. <laughs> and you have to make that rawr when you say that, right? And then the dies that cut everything out from the stamp set. So all of the dinosaurs and then um, the little palm tree and the palm fronds or leaves, whatever you want to call them. And then these fun little images too that you can kind of decorate your dinosaurs with. So super duper like super stinking cute stamp set. And then these are the dino dies, right? Okay, so those are part of the class to go. And then I'm gonna show you, what do I wanna show you next? Let me tell you the options actually. 
that's probably the best way to do it because then I can show you things as well. Okay, so option number one is the full class to go. Let me scoot that in a little bit more. So you are gonna get the Dino Days stamp set, the Dino Dies. Uh, you are gonna get a quarter of a pack of the Dino Roar Designer Series paper. So all of these, this is front and back of all the papers. You're gonna get a quarter of a pack of the Designer Series paper to help you make your projects. You are gonna get a full pack of, these are the cute little Dino Roar enamel shapes. And with option number one, I'm also throwing in for free a bolt of, this is the denim ribbon. So super cute, fun, like love, love that stitchy denim ribbon, okay? Uh, plus you get the PDF tutorial and then all the parts and pieces to make two of, here's the cute little look who's hatched card, right? Hey Sally, this other fun one. And I didn't have room for the sentiment on the outside, so I put it on the inside. Thanks for being a friend of Saurus. And then make two of this one, and I have to show you, this is kind of fun, because it opens up. Can you see, maybe if I turn it that way, right? So it stands like this. Does that make sense? I'm trying to, it's not very easy to show it, is it? <laughs> but it's kind of a fun one. So it'll stand like that, and then you open the card up there, right? So two of that one, and then I love you this much. It's more than it looks, with those little arms right there, right? And then the fun designer series paper. And that one just opens like that. So two more of that one. So eight cards total plus the PDF tutorial. Uh, option number one is $81. And don't forget, this ribbon is free with that option number one, okay? Option number two is not including the dies. We will do your die cutting for you, and I'll send you the ribbon that you need, but you don't get the full bolt of ribbon. So you get the stamp set, you get the quarter of a pack of designer series paper, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, and the Dino War elements, plus the PDF tutorial. That option number two is $47. Then option number three is if you already have the stamp set, you do not want to get option number three if you do not have the Dino Day stamp set because you have to do your own stamping, right? So it is a quarter of a pack of the Designer Series paper, the full package of the enamel shapes, and then all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, plus the PDF tutorial. That option number three is $30, okay? Then option number four is the PDF tutorial. You're gonna do it all on your own. You just wanna know how to do it, right? Uh, option number four is $15 and it's always available even after, after the PDF tutorial, or excuse me, even after the class to go deadline has passed. And then option number five, if you are an inspired stamper or maybe you become an inspired stamper when you get that starter kit deal starting on July 1st, you get all of the parts and pieces to make two of each of the cards, the make and take materials. You are gonna want to um, get your own stamp set and your dies on your own. I will do the die cutting, um, but if you get the dies, that's even better, right? So get these things, get your discount too on them. Use your discount to get those rather than ordering through me, right? It's just $12 for the make and take pieces plus the PDF tutorial. And you're welcome to run this as your own class as well then with that PDF tutorial. You have examples, everything that you need to know to put them together. Um, let's see, option number one, two, and three, ship priority mail for just $8. Or if you're local, select the studio pickup option. RSVPs are due by Friday, July 19th. And let's see, expected shipping date of all kits is the end of July on July 31st, okay? So let me know if you have any questions. I would love to get one of these cute kits sent out to you. These are great, you'd have everything, like if you go camping or you're on vacation and you have a rainy day and need a little something fun to do. Plus the kids would love, right? Wouldn't they love to make cards with the Dino Day stamp set? Cause it's so cute, right? So let me know if you have any questions. If you want to get a to-go kit, we can get you all set up, okay? So let me know on that. All right, here we go. I think we are ready. I'm gonna give you that host code right there. This is the new host code that we're gonna start using. The U3UZ four C E U. Okay. And I'll have that posted, like I said, on my blog and on the comments here, and we'll have it on the Facebook group too. Okay. So you'll be able to find that lots of different places to put your online order in. Okay. Part of this doesn't really apply because we've got that special, the cruising special going on. Okay. Um, let me see. I'm just trying to make sure that I have everything. Well, let's um, get my grid paper out too. Okay. 
guys see that, right? All right, we're gonna move that over there. It's getting hot in here too, ladies. I don't have air conditioning, so <laughs> I'm always like, I hope I'm not like sweating <laughs> in the video. <laughs> Hopefully you guys wouldn't be able to tell if I was. Who knows though? Okay, um, that might be TMI, right? <laughs> It happens like that sometimes, ladies. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. We are gonna make a card with this Mosaic Mood Designer Series paper. Oh, and I will tell you, I think, well, I know I have one of these kits left. I showed you all of these um, little samplers that we made um, with my downline. So I have one more kit left. Um, after last week when I put it out there, I got a few people that wanted them. So I was like, Lily, do you wanna help me? And she was very gracious, but she said, mom, don't offer any more of those, please. She's got blisters <laughs> and she's she's tired of sorting and packing everything. Cause it, it's actually a lot more work than you think to cut all those into like little two inch squares and do all the punching and keep them all sorted so that you don't get this huge jumble and then have to try to figure out which ones go with which. So anyway, with all that being said, I have one more of these sampler um, kits left. They're $10. You get all of these little two by two squares um, for all of our designer series papers. So 11 different packs of paper, plus all the little one inch circles that give you all the coordinating colors. So I'm just gonna say the first person that comments or sends me a message that wants that kit, it's yours. And then I'll just have you um, send me PayPal or cash or check, um, whatever's easier for you. Okay, and I'll get it mailed out to you. If I do have to mail it, it's actually $15 um, because I'm sending the full, um, the white card stock with the printing and everything on here too. Um, so I want to make sure that I send it packaged nicely, you know, so the corners don't get rumpled and that sort of thing. So Philomena, I'll let Lily know you said thank you. <laughs> I know she actually is probably, she has been an amazing helper. She's actually upstairs, so I don't know if she can hear me, but she's been a super duper good helper. I think as maybe the thanks mom for taking me on this awesome trip. She's been at basically anything that I've asked her to do. She's like, okay, yeah, I can do that. She's not always super excited about it, but she does it, which I appreciate. So, okay, so this is the Mosaic Mood Designer Series paper. It is beautiful, and this is the one when Lily was putting these together. There's lots of, not every single one, but a lot of them have texture. Most of them do, really. So you can kind of run your fingers over. It's beautiful, beautiful paper, okay? And then those are all the coordinating colors of cardstock. So you guys want to see the card finally? Amy stopped talking, right? So this is the card that I'm going to show you guys. And it says, wishing you a delightful birthday. And I thought this kind of font and those little, whatever, those other little, I don't know, they almost look like gems or something. They really kind of worked. This look worked, I thought, really well with that mosaic mood designer series paper and <laughs> philomena you'll appreciate this i finally got to use my woven what's the name what's it called um where is it why don't i oh yeah the sahara Th sand woven threads trim i was i put it on here and i was like yes i think it really works well so i'm really happy with how that turned out not quite as much as last week right i kind of was forcing that and it was bumming me out that it didn't work so i think this week it looks great so okay let's go ahead and put this card together okay oh and i'll show you too the stamp is from the Delightful Day stamp set. And I probably showed you guys this a couple weeks ago when I showed you those little treats I was making for everybody. That little, just a little something for you sentiment. We've got the congratulations to a happy couple on your new home, welcome baby. Um, treats made with love. And then this is the one we used, right? The wishing you a delightful birthday. <laughs> oh, oh good, I'm glad you like that ribbon on there too, Philomena. I think it works much better. Okay, so that's the stamp set, Delightful Day. Let me get my stamps out here. Okay, so let me tell you measurements on here. So we are using, and this is a color I don't use very much, so I was excited to pull it out and use it because I do like it, um, but it's not always the one that I go to first, I guess. So Mint Macaron, this was an in color we had a few years ago and then it came back last year with our color renovation. So we've got our eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. Along the eight and a half inch side, I cut it at the four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, I scored it at five and a half inches. Okay, so we make our nice crisp fold on our card. 
Then we have the piece of very vanilla cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And these are just kind of scrap pieces that we're gonna do our stamping and die cutting on. This piece of Mosaic Mood Designer Series paper right here. Hey Sally, I'm glad you found us. Set your alarm, that's cute. Me this piece measures three inches by four inches, okay? I think that's all you guys need to know for measurements. So let's do our stamping. We've got, this is my um, mint macaron ink pad and we've got our stamp wishing you a delightful birthday. We can always use more birthday cards, right? So you saw me tap, 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 press straight down, lift straight up. It works every single time. Okay, so there's that. I think I can scoot that guy out of the way. Now we're gonna do our die cutting and I actually did a little embossing. I'll show you guys that. Okay. Did I say this already too? This is one of the cards that we are making down at the new catalog kickoff and buy one get one free event. I love to show new product to everybody, at least have it on display. People aren't always able to actually uh, make the cards because they're busy shopping, right? Um, but I love to have it out in case they want to make a card or um, just to be able to see. Okay, so we are using the layering square framelits. So I've got my straight edge right here that we're going to put on this one. We're going to just move it around, get it set into place, and then I've got my scallop edge to go on my kind of strip or scrap piece of mint macaron cardstock. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do this die cutting. Sorry. These make the everything shake so much, so sorry if that got kind of wiggly for you. And I am realizing I need my other platform. I don't do embossing quite as much, but we need that other platform. Okay, I'm going to have to run and grab that, but you see how great these things pop right out, right? Okay, scoot those one sec. I'll be right back. So we need our regular Big Shot platform to do our embossing. So I am using, this is just the subtle, the dynamic embossing folder. And I wanted to just add a little bit of texture. I want it to go this way on my very vanilla piece. And you, I love that line there too. So it'll help me kind of keep things lined up there. And then here's my other. So just the platform and my embossing folder and then one clear plate on top are all we need. And I'm gonna go back through that just so I make sure I like my embossing. And we'll scoot this baby out of the way. Okay, so it's just a subtle texture to the paper. <laughs> Sally, tap, tap, tap. <laughs> She's saying it's her favorite technique and it is a technique, isn't it? Okay, so do you guys see just that little bit of texture in there? I love that, just adds a little something to our card. Okay, I think we can start putting things together. So we are gonna adhere, right, I got all. Okay, so we're gonna put our snail adhesive on the back of our designer series paper. We're gonna just layer this right on top here, okay? Do, oops, I thought I had that right, and then I moved it trying to make sure because I don't want you to see any vanilla around those edges. I think that looks good. Okay, now we need just a strip of, oh, there's something, I think, I don't know, there's something about the look of that that I think works really well with the designer series paper. So we just need a little strip there. Just going to cut that off. And then, let's see, yep, I do want those. That was kind of the back side of it, I think. Okay. So we are, and I love to, can you guys see, it can kind of peek through. It's almost like columns or something. We're gonna have it peek through there a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna flip over. We're gonna put a bunch of adhesive. You have to put quite a bit of adhesive to make sure your ribbon sticks on there. And I always flip this back over to make sure I'm not, you know, putting it on at a funny angle. Okay, so we're gonna do that one. I'm gonna press really firmly. Okay, now because this paper is textured, I'm gonna essentially go, I never run straight across. I don't know why. 
I always have to pick it up a little bit. Uh, but I want adhesive kind of all the way around the edges because it's got that ribbon, so it's going to kind of tend to bump up a little bit. And then with the texture on the paper, um, it doesn't allow it to stick quite as well. Okay. All right. <laughs> yes, Nikki, pulling that bottom strip off. Where did I? Did No, I haven't. I'm trying to think of. I feel like I did that somewhere. Maybe I did it in, oh, I know, it was a cute little box. Oh, I should have that box. I have to remember to show you guys that. But yes, what Nikki is saying is you can cut this little edge off. And then if you can imagine, you've got just that right there. And then these things are free and they're like little tassels and they're super cute. And then this little kind of rickrack thing is really cute too. You kind of could end up with two different pieces of ribbon, right? Like the rickrack and then the little tassels also. Can you see that? You get the idea if you cut that off. It's so cute. You just have to try it. Get the ribbon, cut it up a little bit, and, and play with it. It's really, really fun. Okay, so now for our sentiment. Okay, I'm going to pop this one right on here. Okay, and we need our dimensionals. We're going to put on all four corners here. Okay. Pop those off there. And then we have just a little bit more of fun. You know, I, I kind of put this together and then I'm like, oh, we need something more. So I had to add a couple more little elements. I did kind of center that, didn't I? Okay, that one looks good there. Okay, so now I use, this is the Nature's Twine and it comes in four different colors. So this is Mint Macaron. There's also a Grapefruit Grove. There is, I think it's Crumb Cake, and then a Purple. It's either Rich Razzleberry or, um, what's the other, the darker one, Blackberry Bliss. I can't remember, but it's those four colors that you get in the full pack. And just so you guys know, I will have my blog updated with all of the measurements and all of the item codes for everything that we are using, like this um, Nature's Twine, like that woven threads trim, the new um, designer series paper, all of it, okay? I'll give you all the item codes for everything on my blog post, that'll be later on this afternoon. Okay, so then the last thing, we are gonna add a couple of pearls, and I just kind of tried to center them in between those little sprinkles of, I don't know, little diamondy things is what I was calling them, right? So just add a couple pearls there too. And that is it, it is Blackberry Bliss. Okay, oh, uh, yes, I know I thought of that too, Sharon, the columns, seeing plenty of those on your trip. Yeah, I think they do kind of look like columns. I guess I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking of Rome for sure. <laughs> yes, lots of Roman columns. Okay, so that is the first card. So again, if you come down to the buy one, get one free event and the new catalog kickoff, you could make this card with me today if you're around. And then, okay, let's see. Let me scoot these things out of the way and I'll show you the next card that we are going to make. Bear with me one sec. Oh, you know what? Let's, um, so I don't get ink all over everything as I put it back in the tub to take it down to the studio. We're gonna use our little chamois. Thank you guys, I'm glad you like that card. Clean that little baby off, right? Okay. Now the next one, let me show you is, okay. So our product of the week, you guys, look at this one. Okay, Sally, you'll be there. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, this ribbon, I could not stop playing with it. Um, so I have to tell you, this layout I cased from, let me find my note here. Um, her name is BJ Peters, and I think she's at stampinbj.com, like as maybe BJ is in Billie Jean, I don't know. She just goes by BJ, but she always has really cute projects. So I found this on Pinterest. She used different um, paper, um, but I wanted to show you this, this pattern of the Magnolia Lane paper. And then I think she tied it a little bit different, but same basic idea. So, but I loved this idea because you see so much of the designer series paper with a little thank you. And then we kind of decorated the inside. So the card is kind of cut off a little bit. So you have a little preview of what is inside. And I know, look at that ribbon is so gorgeous, isn't it, Philomena? 
So this is all part of that our product of the week, the beautiful, gorgeous, amazing Magnolia Lane designer series paper, okay? So let's make this baby. And this one is a simple one too, but it's a great use of your designer series paper. Okay, so let's see. We don't even have to do any die cutting either, ladies. We've got a little trick to show you though. It's kind of fun. Okay, let me get my inks here and my ribbon. All right, I think we have everything. Okay, let me tell you dimensions because this one's a little bit, little bit tricky, a little bit different, okay? So we start with a mossy meadow card base. This one measures eight and a half by nine and three quarters, okay? Uh, hey, Sabina, how are you? And yes, Sally, three to six at the stamp studio today. Um, okay, so along the nine and three quarter inch side, we're still gonna score it at five and a half, but that's gonna allow us to show that little strip. You guys see that, that little strip right down there, okay? And then our designer series paper, we've got one piece that measures four inches by four inches, and then another piece of designer series paper that measures one and a quarter by four inches. And then our whisper white, this piece goes on the inside of the card, and then this one measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? So we can go ahead and adhere, let's do that so I don't lose them, right? We're gonna put some adhesive. This piece is gonna go on the bottom of our Whisper White piece, okay? And then this piece is gonna go on our card, right? Right on the card front itself. Great showcase of this designer series paper. I'm so drawn to this where you use big, bold pieces of the designer series paper on your card, I just love that. Okay, now on the inside, you can see we stamped just a couple of those little flowers. Can't stop using, I use these two little baby flowers. This is from the Free as a Bird stamp set. If you don't get use it for anything, or get this stamp set for anything else, get this stamp set for those flowers because I use them all the time um, because I don't have the Magnolia, that stamp set yet. So I had to use something that looked kind of similar. All right, I'm gonna grab a scrap piece of paper Kind of pop that underneath there. So I'm gonna do one there and one there, okay? There, how about that, huh? Okay, and then, so that was petal pink ink, if I didn't say that, right? Then I have my Mossy Meadow ink, and on this is just a strip of Whisper White cardstock. I'm gonna stamp my thank you. Ink that up, put that guy right there. And the thank you was from another favorite of mine, the Parcels and Petals stamp set, that pretty thank you, right there, okay? Now, we are gonna use, this is the new Timeless Label Punch, okay? I'm gonna put this in here, I'm gonna try to make sure, I'm doing it upside down, but I think we're good. It's lined up, okay? But then, okay, this is the trick, the tricky, tricky, trick part. So we cut off, so because can you see, when I saw this on BJ's um, card on Pinterest, I was like, well, she said she used that punch. So she just cut off kind of the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna use my big scissors and I'm just gonna go from where that notch kind of comes in and snip straight across. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And that is it. Okay, then I'm gonna put a couple of dimensionals behind my thank you. Okay, actually, I'm gonna put this on my card too, right? Okay, put this on the inside of the card. Make sure that looks good. And then these just go right on the bottom. Okay, and then the one last most beautiful part, well, I love the paper, but I think I love the ribbon even more. Okay, we'll put our thank you right there. Now we're gonna grab our, this is that petal pink, the striped organdy ribbon. And you wanna make sure you have enough to make a pretty bow. And I will tell you, I did have to futz with this a little bit. So we'll see if this comes out the first time on Facebook Live or not. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I have a good amount without 
wasting a bunch. I think that's going to be plenty. We'll see if this works here. So you see when you first tie it, yeah, not so great, right? So then I kind of, I'm trying to hold the center so that it doesn't come apart too much. And then you can always kind of pull and push with your ribbon. I think that's going to work out all right. That one's kind of winging around a little bit, but we cut that one there. So yeah, sometimes I have to play with this a little bit until I get it where I like it. But that's kind of the idea, right? So here, this is one after I've played with the ribbon for a while. I think it's beautiful. So I won't do that, but you get the idea, right? To kind of play with it until you get it where you like. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed these projects. I'm gonna miss um, hanging out with everybody on Fridays for the next couple of weeks. In the meantime, don't even, I'm just gonna cover that right up. I'm just gonna tell you. So you will get, uh, where's the other one? If you put that online order in, make sure you use this host code, the U3UZ4CEU. Use this host code, right? You're gonna get 10 free handmade cards. I'm gonna send you one of each of these cards and then eight other cards, so 10 free handmade cards. You're gonna get a free embellishment and then your name is gonna go into the drawing to win. And I don't have the stamp sets yet, but the stamp sets and then the coordinating, either the ribbon, the crumb cake, um, blends or the noble peacock rhinestones so and i'll have all that on my blog too so you guys can see exactly what you could win with your it's so it's at least a 50 dollars online order the 10 free cards the free embellishment and the chance to win one of those three awesome prizes anytime between now and july 17th okay so you guys thank you so much for joining me today um if you had any questions on anything i told you about just send me a message on facebook or an email and I hope you guys have an awesome couple of weeks and I will see you when we get back. And it's funny because I don't know how many different people have said to me, we can't wait to see what you guys get because usually Stampin' Up! really spoils us with, this is crazy to say, but they're gonna, they usually give us a bunch of new holiday catalog product already. I was laughing that like, I'm not ready for holidays. Some people are really ready, I'm not ready for them yet. But I will show you guys everything that we come back with. So thank you guys so much. And Philomena, thank you, that's very sweet. I will be safe, we're gonna take lots of pictures. I'll be putting them on our Facebook group. So uh, keep up with me on there and, and check in and say hello. And let me know what you guys are up to back here too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate that, thank you, Nikki and we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.